Hey guys, so I'm here with my breastfeeding must-haves. So this is just gonna be a video letting you guys in on some of the things that I feel are must-haves for breastfeeding. Now, I've been breastfeeding for three months now. I did breastfeed Adeline, but not for very long, and I am still exclusively breastfeeding Eason, who just turned three months, and we are going strong. So these are just some of the few things that I found to be super, super helpful and just amazing when it comes to breastfeeding. So the first thing that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are these Lansano Soothies gel pads. These things are a godsend. They are so freaking amazing. I did not think they were gonna be so amazing. This box is a little beat up, excuse it, but that doesn't make it any less of an amazing product. They are super good. Pretty much they're just, um, these little gel pads they are reusable they soothe relieve and help heal sore nipples so if you guys watch my vlogs you guys know that i've suffered from cracked nipples twice this time it is horrible it's it was worse than mastitis for me at least it was just the worst thing ever so these were literally a godsend they are so amazing they come just in little packages like this i'm not going to open them up because um yeah, I want to save them just in case. You peel them off of the little container they're on and you just put them on there and um, leave them on there and they feel so good. They're, they feel cold. Um, so yeah, you just leave them on there and it helps heal them so well. Um, and then obviously you just rinse off your nipples before you feed your baby again. But these are definite must have. The next thing that also goes along with the whole crack nipples topic is the Lansano Lanano Lan. The Lansano Lanolin Cream. I cannot say that. It's a tongue tire, tongue whatever. Anywho, this was another godsend. Um, like I said, I suffered from cracked nipples twice. And the first time I did not have this. The second time I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning crying because it just hurt so bad. And Chris went out and got me some of this. And it was amazing. It literally just made a world of a difference. So these two together are like the perfect combination for cracked nipples. The next thing that came in handy when I got mastitis, I know it's just been one thing after another with me and breastfeeding, but we're still going strong. Um, something that really helped with mastitis and even the first few weeks of, of breastfeeding um, when you're boobs are just engorged and they hurt and they feel like rocks because believe me that's what they feel like these came in so much handy um these are the um lansano three in one breast therapy pads or breast therapy yeah the lansano three in one breast therapy and pretty much these are just little gel little pad thing so you can either heat these up or put them in the freezer depending on what you're needing them for but these are also super super amazing and these are good for plug ducts and um, engorgement mastitis all these different things so definitely good to have these on hand another product are breast pads and I swear you guys I am not sponsored by Lansano I wish because you go through so many breast pads, but I know everything I mentioned is that brand, and it's nothing in particular about the brand. It's just those are the products that have worked for me. Um, so these are the breast pads that I actually am like obsessed with. I've tried the Nook ones, I've tried the Up and Up ones, and I just don't like them. They're just round and they have no curvature to them. Um, these Lansano ones are obviously they're still round, but as you guys can tell, they don't open all the way, so they they kind of like cup around your breast so it makes it less obvious when you're wearing your bra that you have a nursing pad on because I had the other ones uh the nook ones and the up and up ones and all that stuff and they just bunched up and they were just so awkward and you could see them through my bras and it was just I just did not like them so yeah I definitely recommend these they also have two little sticky little tabs on here to stick to your bra now I don't think they're the best at sticking they don't really stick they still move around a lot um, but they do their job. I love them. I haven't had any like leakage through my shirts, which I did the first time around with Adeline. Um, yeah, so these are some of my favorites. Another thing that I would definitely recommend is getting a pump. Now this is my pump. It is just an even flow pump. Um, I have the other little bottle pump thing, but it's in the dishwasher. So I'm showing you guys one because I don't feel like going to get the other one. Um, so yeah, this is the one I have and I don't have anything plugged in. Of course, it's all in the bag, but any breast pump, not just this one. I have never tried any other breast pump, so I have no idea the comparison. 
So I have no idea how good this is compared to other brands, but it does its job and it works. I use it. I don't use it that much just because I do breastfeed breastfeed, um, but I do pump usually at night before I go to bed because I produce so much. I swear I produce more at night. I don't know if it's just because he's not waking up every two hours or what, but if I don't pump before I go to bed, then I get very engorged. So I always pump before bed and that does its job. And I feel like when you're breastfeeding, it's always good to have a pump. Whether you plan to exclusively pump or whether you're breastfeeding and pumping or whether you're just breastfeeding and you don't think you're ever gonna pump, it's just good to have on hand because you never know whether you have to have, you might need to go out one day, um, so many things can come up where your baby might need to take a bottle and it's good to have your breast milk pumped and in the freezer in case anything happens. So going along with pumping come bottles. These are two of my favorite bottles. The Como Tomo are actually the first ones that we tried out, They're the first ones we bought. These are the Como Tomo um, five ounce bottles. And these, I read amazing reviews on there that they're so good for breastfeeding. Now Easton had some trouble in the beginning with these. Um, he couldn't latch properly around this part. Um, but now he's doing so much better. He's just a baby that just doesn't care for the bottle very much, um, especially if he knows that I'm around to feed him. So he will take bottles, both of these bottles, but um, only when he wants. He prefers breast to bottle, so we don't get we don't use these much. We only use them um, whenever we're going out for um, groceries or anything like that. That it's just easier for me to give him breast milk in a bottle instead of stopping and breastfeeding him. So these are really like, they uh, mimic a breast. They feel even like a breast. They are silicone. You can squeeze them and it, and make it seem like you're having a letdown. So uh, the bottle, will, the milk will spray out um, when you squeeze it. And they're really, really good. Um, they're super easy to clean. Um, and they remind me a lot of the Tommy Tippy, which is what we used with Adeline. Now these are the Juvie Boob bottles and I have a different nipple for these. This is the 9 ounce bottle and I think it came with a stage 2 nipple but we actually got a stage 0 nipple which is a preemie nipple um, because the slower flow for breastfed babies the better. This is also the Juvie Nude nipple which um, looks a little bit different than the regular nipple. It has more a little like texture on the nipple part and around this part um, and Easton seems to like it. Um, like I said, he's not crazy about bottles in particular, but these are the two that he will take. The next thing is a water bottle. Mamas, you need to drink some water because producing all that milk makes you very, very thirsty. And believe me, you are gonna be wanting water like crazy. So any water bottle, just have one on hand all the time because especially I feel like when you're breastfeeding, when the baby's actually latched on, it makes you like a hundred times more thirsty. Every time Easton is breastfeeding, I have to have a drink like of water with me and I'm drinking as he's breastfeeding because it just makes me super, super thirsty. The next thing is something that some of you moms might not agree with, but for me, it's been a definite must have. I don't know what I would do without it. And that is a boppy. I know a lot of people say that it's a waste of money, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, it's coming very, very handy. Um, if you guys don't know what a boppy is, which I'm sure everybody does, you just put it on you like this, helps prop the baby up. I just put my hand, lay him on there, and it just brings him to level with me. And it's easier than me having to slump over or having to pick up my leg and have him able to reach my breast. So the boppy, I feel, is a definite must have. The next thing is a breastfeeding cover. Now I know there's people out there who are totally fine with breastfeeding in public with no cover and kudos to you girl because I can totally not do that. But for those of you guys that, for those of you gals that are not so comfortable just um, breastfeeding without a cover, this is a cover I totally recommend. There's so many different versions of these breastfeeding covers but this is the one I have. The one I have is by Copper Pearl and this is so amazing it's pretty much just an all-around breastfeeding cover now with Easton at the stage he is now he if I wear like a blanket over me um just like try to cover him with a blanket he will like grab it and like start playing with it and like moving it around so I'm scared I'm gonna flash somebody which is why I got this one you just put it over you it's complete all-around 360 coverage which I love and yeah I use this like crazy you just Put it around you like this and I usually have you know one arm under supporting him 
and then my other arm out and I can see him easily it's very breathable material so he's not like suffocating in there and yeah I really like it um, it is also a three-in-one cover so you can use it for breastfeeding you can use it for a car seat cover um, which I if you guys don't know what I'm talking about um, you can look up copper pearl or you can go back and look at my baby bias haul and I kind of show pictures of what you can do. Um, you can also use it as a cart cover and stuff like that. So I think it's awesome multi-use. I've even used it on him as a blanket before and it works perfectly. So this is totally a must have. I don't know what I would do without this. The next thing I recommend I don't have with me because I'm actually recording this on my phone and I actually don't even have the app anymore. But whenever you're first breastfeeding whenever you're first in the hospital and all that stuff I definitely recommend a breastfeeding app now that came in so much handy whenever I was in the hospital they make you keep track of how many poopy diapers your baby has how many pee diapers your baby has how many times you breastfed for how long and on which side all this information that they want you to jot down on a piece of paper and ain't nobody have time for that because I sure as heck did not have time or even remember to be jotting stuff down. So having the app on my phone was just so much easier to just be able to record it, time it, um, because it has a timer. To, um, you click what breast you're on. So let's say your left breast and you click start, it'll start timing. And then whenever you're done breastfeeding, you hit stop. And if you're gonna go to second breast, then you can change the breast and hit start and stop. And it'll record the times of the feedings, how long they lasted, on which side, et cetera, et cetera. So you can look up breastfeeding apps on your phone and there is so many out there, but I definitely recommend that, especially for the first few weeks of breastfeeding um, while you start getting a hang of um, remembering, being having enough energy to remember which side you last left off on or how many times your baby's eating in case that's concerning for you too. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is nursing bras. Now, I don't have one to show you guys and I don't think I would feel very comfortable showing you guys one of my bras, but um, nursing bras are a definite must have. It just makes things so much easier. But another thing that I found um, that you can do instead of using nursing bras, which are pretty expensive if you ask me, um, for a nursing bra, it's not even like a cutesy bra. Another thing I found you can use are bralettes. They're just so much easier, they're cute, and they're just, you can literally just like move them to the side super easy. They provide support, no underwire, etc., etc. all the things you need in a nursing bra, but in a bralette, and bralettes are so much cheaper, so why not go that route? So yeah, that is everything that I feel are must-haves for breastfeeding. If you guys have any other ideas for anybody, any other moms that are looking for breastfeeding must-haves, leave them down below because I'm sure I would even love to know other things that have worked for you guys and tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, I will link everything that I showed you guys down below if I find it, which I should find everything. So I'll link it all down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.